Hello friends, welcome to Java Programming Video Tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we had a brief introduction to the NetBeans IDE. We understood the user interface of NetBeans IDE. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to create a new project or how to create a new Java application inside NetBeans IDE. So let's get started. First of all, I am going to double click on the NetBeans IDE shortcut available on the desktop to launch the NetBeans IDE. You can see that the IDE got launched. To create a new project, I go to file, click on new project. You can see that we got a window with the name new project. There are two steps we need to follow to create a new project. The first step is to choose the project type. In the categories list, I select Java. In the projects list, I select Java application. If we select a Java application, NetBeans is going to create a new Java SE application. Java Standard Edition application. Java SE application is a console application. I want to create a new Java SE application. So I click on next button. Next thing is, is asking the name of the project and the location to save the project. As it is our first project, I am going to give here the project name. Hello world. You can see that while giving the project name, I am following the Pascal case naming convention. Pascal case naming convention says every word's first letter should be in uppercase. Every word's first letter should be in uppercase and other letters should be in lowercase. Already the project location is set up that is inside the documents folder. We have NetBeans projects folder that is a folder for saving our new project. I want to select this URL. I copy it. I open the folder and I paste here the URL. I hit enter. You can see that inside the NetBeans projects folder, we don't have anything because I have not created any project yet. I go back to NetBeans. What actually the NetBeans does means it is going to create one folder called as hello world inside the NetBeans projects folder. That is going to be our project folder. And also it is saying here at the bottom, create main class. It is asking us, do you want me to create a main class for you? If it is checked, that means yes. If it is unchecked, that means no. If you are saying no, that means we need to create or you need to create a main class later. I put it checked because I want the NetBeans to create a main class for me. What is main class actually? A class containing main function is a main class for our Java application. Main function is the function from where the execution begins. Actually, main function is the entry point for any Java application execution. Now, what actually the NetBeans does means it creates one hello world folder or a hello world package inside the SRC folder. Inside this hello world folder, it creates a file called as hello world.java and that hello world.java file is going to have a class with the name hello world and that class is going to have the main function. Once I click on finish, NetBeans is going to create a project and also it has opened the hello world project inside the projects window. If I click on the plus sign, we see two folders. One is source packages folder. Another one is a libraries folder. You can see here in the NetBeans projects folder, it has created our project hello world. This hello world project represents the hello world folder. So inside the NetBeans projects folder, whatever the folders we create, they are considered as projects. So at present, the hello world project is open. If I click on this plus sign here, source packages folder, we have a package called as hello world. This source packages folder represents the SRC folder available inside the hello world folder. This is the SRC folder. So SRC folder is open here. Any folder available inside the SRC folder is considered as a package. Hello world folder, right? This hello world folder is a package in the NetBeans projects window here. This is a package friends. 
And if I open this hello world package, we have hello world dot Java file. You can see here also, if I open this hello world folder, we have hello world dot Java file. I hope you guys are understanding the connection between the projects window and uh, our hello world project here. Remember this, okay? And already it has opened the hello world dot Java here in the middle so that we can see the code and it has written some code for us. In the libraries folder, we have JDK 1.8 Java development kit. To build and run any Java application, we need two important things. One is the JDK, another one is the JRE. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. It is a collection of classes. It is a library. We are going to use this library to create any Java application. And also we need JRE. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment, which is responsible for building and running our Java applications. So what we need? Two things, JDK and JRE. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. Okay. And you can see here, uh, hello world dot Java file is open and forward slash star star forward slash indicates a comment in Java, double forward slash indicates a comment in Java. So we have here so many comments which are unnecessary at present. I'm going to select these comments and delete. I select this, say 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 delete. This is the essential code that we need at present. I discuss about comments and all later. You can see that there is a class called as hello world. This hello world class has the main function. Hence, we can say hello world class is the main class for our Java application. Once we build and run our project, our program execution begins at the main function. Inside this, I am going to say system dot out dot print ln inside the print ln i write hello world exclamation mark semicolon this line of code is going to display hello world exclamation mark in the output panel when we build and run to build and run we press this button called as run project if i click on this run project button our project is going to be built and run you can see that we got the output here hello world exclamation mark in the output panel and uh, the NetBeans is showing build successful. There is no problem. The project has built successfully and also inside the hello world folder, inside the hello world folder, NetBeans creates one more folder called as build folder. Inside the build folder, it puts all our classes. If I open the classes folder, here we have hello world package. Inside that we have hello world dot class. This hello world class is a class file for this Java source file. We know that when we compile for every Java file, a class file is going to be generated, right? Hope you guys have understood how to create a new project in NetBeans and uh, hope you guys have clearly understood how to build and run what is the project structure. I suggest you people to create yourself one new project and build and run, see what exactly happens uh, behind the scene inside the NetBeans projects folder because it is important to know each and every step. I close this hello world.java file. We can close these uh, projects which are open in the projects panel. All you need is right click on the project and say close. You can see that hello world project is closed. To reopen it, we can go to file, say open project and you can see that inside the NetBeans project folder, whatever the folders are there, they are considered as uh, the projects. So already we have here the hello world project, which we created, right? I select it, say open project. You can see that the hello world project is open now in the projects window and we can click on plus sign to open and see. We have uh, the hello world.java file here. If I double click on it, hello world java file will get open and we can build and run and it displays the hello world exclamation mark on the output panel. This is how you close the project. Hope you guys have clearly understood how do you create a new project? How do you close a project? How do you open a project? So for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. 
in the next video tutorial we get more information on netbeans and uh, java programming language for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial